Let's talk tripods. So, unless you plan to create a video that looks like a documentary and you want to you want your video to have that shaky handheld look, you ought to use a tripod. Whether your camera is going to be um, placed on a table or someone else is pointing at you, pointing it at you, it should be connected to a tripod so that it looks stable and it's not shaky. Yes, okay, so the person holding the camera and pointing at you, they're going to be really still, but you'll be surprised. Suddenly you'll start seeing in the video the breathing. So as they breathe, the camera moves, and you'll see this slight shaky movement. You don't want that if you want your videos to be professional. Film using a tripod. That being said, I'm going to show you three alternatives that you can use when shooting your online videos. The first is your standard tripod. And so um, this one I use, I really like it. It's lightweight, but it's sturdy at the same time. It's the Vista Explorer 60-inch lightweight tripod with tripod bag. I have to tell you, I don't use the bag, but it comes with a bag. Maybe you'll use yours. This one today on Amazon is $19.95, so that's an excellent price. There's not much more I can say about it. It extends to five feet. I love it. I use it quite a bit. Now the next mic, uh, I'm stuck on microphone, sorry. The next tripod that you might want to consider is a tabletop tripod. So maybe you want to sit at a table and record you yourself, and maybe you don't have a laptop that has a great camera, but you decide that you want to use your, your, I, your, I, your iPhone because this particular tripod isn't going to work with an iPad, maybe an iPad Air or an iPad mini. You know, I've never tried it, but I would just use my my smartphone or my other digital camera. At any rate, you want to you want to get a tabletop, and I happen to like this Joby GorillaPod flexible tripod. They come in different colors. Mine happens to be red. What I love about this are the legs. I love the fact the fact that the legs are flexible because you'll be surprised when you want to use your tripod but your surface isn't even, well with this you just bend the legs until everything looks squared and proper in you know in your viewfinder or on screen. You can also wrap the legs of this tripod around something. So say you're outside and there's a pole nearby, you could wrap the legs around the pole and then point the camera at you and then record. It's you'll be surprised how you you you'll how you'll use this flexible tripod. So I would consider getting one of these and you know go online. Maybe you have a particular um, thing that you like to uh, I don't know go look online for tabletops but if you're looking for an inexpensive one at $14.93 or retail $19.95 this is a really super little tabletop one. I've got gotten lots of use for it. That being said, I would not use it with your expensive um, two-pound um, DSLR camera. Get a get a, a sturdier one. Don't don't tr don't trust this Joby. I think there is a weight limit. I wouldn't put my expensive fancy camera on it. Now the last camera, uh, the last tripod that you might consider is a microphone stand. Yes, you can attach a. Um, a lightweight camera. Again, I don't know that I would use my iPad or my DSLR camera, but I definitely use my smartphone and my iPod Touch with a microphone stand. Now, it has to be a lightweight camera. Now, why would you consider using a microphone stand for your camera? Well, what if you want to record something where you want to point down? You want the camera to point down at a table and then show you doing something with your hands. Maybe sewing, maybe putting something together, maybe de demonstrating something with your hands. Parallel on a table. Well, this microphone stand, because you have this joint here, allows you to position the camera where you want it to, focus, to face and you can record. Now. So you never know if that's the kind of uh, 
online video you want to create, you want to show somebody how to do something like peel an egg or put together a puzzle, I don't know. You never know. This might be an option for you. But remember, it has to be lightweight. The other thing you have to remember is that you have to use a, a, um, a video camera digital recorder adapter. And so the one I'm showing you right here is the OnStage CM01 video camera digital recorder adapter. So for um, retail $21.99 or on Amazon today it's $9.95 you can get this adapter. It screws onto the end of the microphone stand. This end screws onto the end of the microphone stand. This end you screw into your um, the adapter the, the tripod mount for your iPhone or your iPod Touch and then you connect the camera. So there's not much to say. But this is an alternative for some for the, those of you who want to record your hands doing something over a table or you want to get some kind of odd angle. That's all I've got to say about tripods. Use one. <laughs> Oh, and one more thing. If you want to learn how to make your own online videos, then be sure to download my free report, How to Make Quick, Easy, and Affordable Videos. You can get there by clicking the link below this video or visiting the link at the end of this video.